Hi Larry. I didn't actually do the moulds for the um, baubles that Acorn did that, but they're fairly simple to make. Um, so here I've just got uh, an ellipse on ellipse on layer mouse off, and it's got some um, circular, and that's important that it's circular and not elliptical um, fill. So it goes from a darker uh, getting onto a lighter red. Uh, then, if you want to make, um, that's 350 by 350 pixels, I'll just made um, a rectangle here, 350 by 350, and using the um, quick shape tool, I've created a star here. And I'll put that into the top right hand, uh, top left hand corner of that rectangle. I'm going to control K to clone it. And I'm just going to move it across to there. Um, then I'm going to select the mold elemental, bend from there to there. Um, I'm quite happy with that. I'll go arrange, invert to edible shapes. Um, virtual shapes and it says one group I'm going to go control K to clone that and I'll move that down to the bottom of that grid and then again using the blend tool I'll blend that up like that so we have a fairly uniform um, set of stars and I'll delete the rectangle now I don't want it um, I'm going to control K, clone that, move it over to here. Then I'm going to go into the mold tool and just select the circular envelope. And that creates a nice circular envelope, um, which I can then move over here. It doesn't actually fit completely so been converted into a blend it's changed the size of it so I'm just going to go create that 350 so that's 350 by 350 select those two and uh, I can then center and center those two um, so you've now got that and if I look at that in a preview you can see sorry you can see there that you've got that um, that blend that we're looking at. There's no longer a blend. In fact, um, if you select that blend and it still says down there, oh, sorry, a mold, um, not a blend, a mold. Um, if you can go arrange, convert to edible shapes, it says one group, um, and I'll just go control one. And, and then arrange, ungroup it. So it should now just be one group. Arrange, ungroup, ungroup, ungroup. It's just one shape. That's what I'm after. And having that one shape, I can then give that um, a circular fill. And I can move that up there to white. Move this down here. Make sure it stays circular. Give that a greener fill here. Give that a darker fill down here. And you can, that's the way you can make them the baubles. Going a bit further than that, if I select that and uh, just enlarge it slightly uh, a bit more. Um, Drill down a bit, I'm going to control clone that and select those two and go control the three to intersect shapes. It looks less like they're just touching the edge of the ball all the time. Um, so I think that's a bit better. And if we go into a preview of that, window down a bit 
If I go, you can't see this as off screen now. View image information. It has that default file and that file there. Um, so if I then delete those, Control X, I don't know why it doesn't delete. And I'm going to move this over here a bit. Um, and go uh, bu, 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 preview view image info you see that the view image info only has one image which is this default um, Sarah's default JPEG um, so the rest of these images um, the rest of these shapes and now exported as SVG. Anyway, that's enough of my mumbling, and I hope you can uh, make some sense of it. Uh, all the best. This is Egg. Uh, good night. <laughs>